Hey Aries, what's up? Welcome to your reading. This is Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Alright, this person clearly wants to come up to you. Okay, now if there is no communication here, this person here definitely wants to um, speak to you here. Okay, they're coming back, sneaking back into your life. So this is definitely someone here who probably is running away from commitment, running away from their responsibilities, ghosting you every now and then. Okay, things are good when they come back, but then they're up to that same sneaky shit. They will let you know what their intentions are, but they're all they always la have like a trick up their sleeve, okay? But this person wants to communicate with you, they're coming in with an emotional message, they're coming in with a lame ass apology towards you. So very, very small uh, emotional beginning, but yes, they're wanting to communicate with you deep down. Okay, they feel a lot of love for you. With the eight of pentacles here, this person probably is ready to put in the work now. So earlier probably this was something where they didn't put in the work, they didn't put in the effort. And uh, there was a lot of emotional detachment from this person's side. Maybe there was uh, they were neglecting the connection, or they could have been uh, like, um, or it could have been just been uh, where things didn't work out between you both, which is why this person didn't put in the work. I feel you would have put in all the work in the past, okay? Now this person here wants to work on this connection, all right? And they're ready to put in the work, but they're ready to. It's like you know what? They're working on themselves. And by working on themselves, they're uh, wanting to put in the work in this connection. It's like they're trying to become a better person, okay? Trying to become a better version of themselves. Uh, a lot of you could be at a long distance relationship, okay? At a distance. Now, this could be physical distance for sure. Could be a road trip, okay? Or just could be like some kind of distance, okay? But I do feel that there's distance out here. Maybe this person wants to come towards you. They want to travel towards you or they want to travel with you. But uh, this person definitely looks like now they've got their shit together and now they have that willingness and determination uh, to move things forward. You know, it's like, uh, I don't care what happens, but I'm ready to overcome any obstacles that come between me and Aries. But there's this determination to make things happen between you both, okay? And uh, I feel like they were a little um, emotionally imbalanced in the past, okay? So it was like uh, they were torn between their head and their heart. What do I do? You know, but now I think they're definitely listening to their intuition and they're listening to their, um, you know, they have a balanced approach now and now they're ready to fight for this connection, okay? They're looking at this connection as they want success, victory, okay? For sure. Another card. Okay, again, I'm seeing more traveling out here. So this person definitely wants to travel towards you. Uh, if there was no communication here, like I said, communication is coming in. If this person was trying to, you know, just run away from the connection or run away from something that they really need to uh, address. Okay, so they were going in circles all this while. They're ready to address their fears here. Okay, and they're ready to make a change. All right, so whatever resistance this type person had all this while here, this is all in their feelings, don't get too excited here. Yeah. So it's all in their feelings that they want to, uh, that they feel like this, okay? They feel like they should get into a better place with you. They want to get into calmer waters with you. They want to get out of that to stop you waters. They, whatever turbulence is there between you both here, if they had created some kind of physical and mental uh, distance between you both here, they want to come back around. And uh, this time it's like, you know, they feel that they should uh, definitely do and, um, you know, uh, push this connection forward and leave what is not serving them, you know, mentally, uh, in a way where uh, getting out of their comfort zone or just, you know, um, leaving whatever happened in the past, leaving the past baggage, emotional baggage, excess baggage and moving towards you with a more clear head, okay? But it's like, you know, they've reached a point where they're just like, I, you know what, they're like, I don't have any choice out here. Probably you've completely cut communication with them, all right? But it's like they have no choice but to do this. Good job. Okay. So now this person here is clearly trying to manifest you. All right. This person here is very passionate about you. That's for sure. This person here is trying to practically manifest a new opportunity, a new beginning with you. Okay. And uh, it's like uh, they know they can make it happen. They feel they have all the tools and uh, the skills that they need to make it happen with you okay so now i feel all this while they were trying to manifest you but it was very half-hearted you know why because they probably had commitment issues here but now this time around here this, per this person feels like they can control the situation they have all the control in their hand and they can make it happen and they're the only one who can make it happen only ones who can make it happen here 
okay you could be dealing with another aries or a gemini here but um yes they do feel that they can make it happen between between you both but uh this is someone secretly manifesting you okay they are now uh with the Ten of Pentacles in their intentions is so either if you're with this person here or dating this person, this person wants to marry you. If you're already married, they want to bring in a lot of stability and security within the connection. If you they were running away from marriage and commitment, then they want this commitment with you now, okay? This time around here, they want all this to happen with you, okay? They want family, kids, uh, tradition, etc., everything. They're ready to accept everything, okay? That has to happen between you both. This is definitely their intention out here. With the page of wands here, their intention is to come in towards you. But again, uh, the intention is to marry you, but their communication skills, their approach towards you is very silly. It's very kiddish. Okay. This is someone who's very flirty. Okay. So yes, uh, this person here still, I wouldn't say that this person, this time around when they communicate with you, they'll communicate with you and we're like, hey, let's get, let's just get married. No. The realization is there, but I feel this person here still will come, come off towards you in an energy where the realization is there because you already see that in their feelings that they know they need to make things better between you both. But uh, that communication towards you, that approach towards the entire situation in order to want commitment with you, they're in no hurry. Okay, I feel they're in no hurry to get... Um, any kind of commitment with you or to give you a commitment here. It is there in their intentions, but they want to take it very slow. That's a very flirty energy. That's a very fiery, adventurous energy. So again, which are, because I'm getting two cards of traveling here, again, I feel this person is looking for adventure. This person is looking to travel with you. But they're look, if this person is not ready to commit, although they want to, they're not ready to commit to you. So expect some passionate communication. This person probably, want, whatever idea they have, it's not grounded. It's very passionate, okay? So it's like all of a sudden now they feel a lot of passion for you, okay? So, yeah, they're getting very attracted towards you. With the lovers here, their intention out here, I feel this person is not, is ready to make a choice, but they haven't made a choice out here. The lovers in intentions is more like, I need to choose, but they haven't chosen yet, okay? They haven't chosen yet. But the lovers here, this person knows that there's a very, very strong soulmate twin flame connection between you both. It's a very strong bond, okay? They feel emotionally, spiritually, and physically very, very connected to you, okay? It's a connection that compares to no one here. But with the lovers here, this person still need to make, make still needs to make a choice. Earlier, they made a choice of not committing to you. Now, they are ready to probably uh, make a choice, but they're still thinking here. But with the lovers here, this is definitely a life-changing, significant decision that they need to make here. For some reason, I do feel that this person is still not making that choice out here. Although they're coming out of that mode where there, where it was an equal, where there was an imbalance out here, where there was a more of a sexual attraction, or where there was just a connection where this person didn't want to commit to you. But now it's like this is more like they're ready to make that choice, but they haven't made it as yet. You see why I'm saying that? This is exactly why I'm saying because this person's approach is still very flirty. More than flirty, I feel this person's approach is more like keep it all fun, light and games. Okay, they want to come towards you like this. Their intentions are with you to get to be with you for good. But um, again, I feel they're just not in a hurry out here. All right. So that's what I have for you. I uh, hope this reading resonates. Let me know in the comments below if you do like this spread. And uh, if you do need a personal reading, all that information is going to be down below. So, yep. Yeah, good luck. Good luck. Good luck.